Chapter 10, Lesson 2, Volume of Triangular Prisms. You will learn how to find the volume given the area of the base and the height, and how to find missing dimensions. In a triangular prism, the base, bases are congruent triangles. The diagram below shows that the volume of a triangular prism is also the product of the area of the base, capital B, and the height, H, of the prism. The volume V of a triangular prism is the area of the base, B, times the height, H. Since the base is a triangle, the area of the base, B, can be replaced with one-half base times height, or one-half length times width. Therefore, the formula is one-half length times width. Volume equals one-half length times width. So, just a quick review. We found that the area of a triangle is related to the area of a rectangle. For example, the area is base times height of a rectangle. The area of a triangle is one-half base times height. And the reason is that half of a rectangle is a triangle. It's the same thing for prisms. Volume of a rectangular prism is volume equals length, width, height. So a triangular prism is half length, width, and height. So letter A, find the volume of the triangular prism. Now, when we were talking about finding the area of triangles, we were focused on the two sides that form the right angle. So here's our right angle, and the two sides that form it are 8 and 10. So length and width. When we're talking about height of the prism, we want exactly that, the height of the prism. The height of the prism is never touching the base. It's never the side of a base, I should say. So our triangle's down here, but our height goes up from that triangle. Meaning this 12.8 was just extra information. So we start with volume equals one half length width height. Volume equals one half length width height. And I'm putting them over one because I have to multiply by that fraction of one half. So let's multiply the numerators. One times eight is eight. Eight times ten is eighty. Eighty times thirteen will do off to the side. Three times zero is zero. Three times eight is twenty-four. Put a placeholder. One times zero is zero. One times eight is eight. Add it up. We get a numerator of one thousand forty. Our denominator: two times one is two. Times one is two. Times one is two. Last but not least, let's do that division: two into one thousand forty. 2 goes into 10 5 times. 2 goes into 4 twice. And don't forget about that 0. We have to still use that. 2 into 0, 0 times. So our volume is 520 meters cubed. You remember, volume is cubic. Letter B, volume equals one half length width height. So here's our base, which is a triangle, okay? And what we're concerned with are the two sides that form that right angle. Oops, meant to hit the eraser. There we go. Well, here's my right angle. This side touches it, so we'll call that the length. And this height right here, we'll just call that the width. And the height of the prism is right here. 
which means these two pieces were extra information. Volume equals one half, length is four, width is 3.5, height is seven. Now remember, we can multiply in any order because multiplication is commutative. So personally, I'd rather multiply everything together in my head that I can, and then I would have to do less work on the side. So I'm going to do 1 times 4, which is 4, and I'm going to skip that 3.5 and do 4 times 7, which is 28. Now I'll multiply 28 by 3.5. 5 times 8 is 40, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14, put a placeholder, 3 times 8 is 24, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, add it up, we have one number behind the decimal point, so one number behind the decimal point, our numerator is 98. Our denominator is 2 times 1 times 1 times 1, which of course is just 2. And then we do our division, 2 into 98, 2 into 9, 4 times, subtract 8 and get 1, bring down the other 8, 2, time, two into 18, 9 times, minus 18 is 0. So our volume equals 49 meters cubed. Find the volume of the triangular prism. Volume equals 1 half length width height. Well, here's the length and the width and the height of the prism. This prism is on its side, so the height is actually down instead of up and down. Volume equals 1 half, 7 over 1, 8 over 1, 10 over 1. Volume equals, looking at the numerators, 1 times 7 is 7, times 8 is 56, times 10 is 560, over the denominators, 2 times 1 is 2, times 1 is 2, times 1 is 2. Do our division. 2 into 5 twice. 2 into 16, 8. And 2 into 0, 0. So volume equals 280 yards cubed. Oops, wrong way. Letter D. A large skateboard ramp is shown. Find the volume of the triangular prism. Volume equals, equals one half length width height. Now there's my right angle in the corner. So this is length and width. And the height would be four. Volume equals one half, 10 over one. 7 over 1, 4 over 1. Again, I'm going to use the commutative property here, and I'm going to skip 10. If you, can, you have a 10, multiply it last. That's the easiest one to do in your head. So 1 times 7 is 7, times 4 is 28, times 10 would make it 280, over. 2 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 2. Do our division. 2 into 2 once, 2 into 8 4 times, and 2 into 0, 0. So volume equals 140 feet cubed. And of course, we need to know how to find the missing dimensions. We're going to do this the same way we've been doing. To find the missing dimensions of a triangular prism, replace the variables with, variables with known measures, measurements, then solve for the unknown measurement. 
So we're going to start with volume equals one half length width height. Here we're given the volume. It says we're finding the H, which means these are length and width. Volume equals actually, we know volume. Volume is 12, so 12 equals 1 half, length is 1 over 1, width is 0 0.3 over 1, and height I don't know, so I bring down the variable. Multiply what we can. 1 times 1 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.3 over. 2 times 1 times 1 is 2. Bring down the H. We need to take care of that division. So 2 into 0 0.3, put your decimal right in your answer. 2 into 0, 0. 2 into 3, once. Add another 0. 2 into 10, 5 times. So we have 12 equals 0 0.15 H. To get H by itself, we're going to divide by 0 0.15. So 0 0.15 into 12. Now we have to move this decimal over twice, which means we have to do it on the inside. Well, the decimal is always after whole numbers. We move it twice, put our decimal in our answer, and then we fill in these gaps with 0. 15 into 120. Let's try 8, see where it takes us. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12, works out perfectly, minus 120, bring down the 0, 15 into 0, 0 times, so our answer is 80 centimeters, it is not cubed because we are not talking about volume. Find the missing dimension. I like when they give me lists, it's straight and to the point. Volume equals one half length width height. Volume is 55 equals one half times two over one times five over one times our unknown H. 55 equals, multiply what you know. 1 times 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 1 times 1 is 2. Bring down the H. Do the division. 55 equals 10 divided by 2 is 5. Bring down the H. Let's solve for H by dividing each side by 5. So our height is 11 kilometers.